Hallelujah to the Most High God. Shalom Aleichem, righteous saints of the Almighty God. Baruch Hatsa Adonai Eloheinu Melecha Olam. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the whole universe. Bashem Yeshua HaMashiach. Father, King of glory, we have gathered to worship you. O ancient of days, I am that I am. Magnificent God, Lord of hosts, deliverer of Daniel from the lion's den, mighty redeemer, consolation of Israel. Lord, we worship you and we bow before you. As we are standing today once again on Mount Zion, Lord, to declare your worship, praise, honor, thanksgiving, and the words you have put in, in our mouth to speak. I pray, Lord, in the name of Yeshua, that you will let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord our God, through Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord and our King. Unto you be lifted, O glory, ancient of days. Jehovah, King of glory, O many science, O many present, O many present God, O many science God, O many potent God, you are worthy. You are worthy to receive glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, voice of the tender, Red Sea and Jordan divider, you are worthy to receive all praise. Worship and honor belongs to you alone. And they looks good on you. Receive them. Lord of hosts, receive them. Captain of Israel's host. You are worthy. Mighty redeemer. No challenger. Consuming fire. You are worthy. Strong man. Mighty God. Wonderful wonder. Rose of Sharon. Lily of the valley. You are worthy. Through Yeshua HaMashiach. We have praised. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. Holy words, long preserved for our walk in this world. There is sound with God's own Oh, let the ancient words impart ah. Words of life, words of hope Give us strength, help us cope In this world, where, where we roll Ancient words will guide us home Ancient words Changing me and changing you. We have come with open eyes. Oh, let the ancient words impart. Holy words of our faith handed down to this age came to us. Come. 
Kola Balabosh. In the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. Kola Bradabo Shananama. Ikelelebro Radaba. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. We worship you, King of Glory and Lord of Laws. In the mighty name of our Lord Yeshua Hamashiach. Amen. Saints of the Almighty God, I greet you once again in Yeshua's perfect name. I came on your way and declared that judgment of the Almighty God is coming upon his church. And I stand here today in the name of our Lord Yeshua. The scriptures that the Lord God Almighty has given unto me, one of them is 1 Kings chapter 18. We know the story where our brother, prophet Elijah, gathered all the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel. The Bible says that they called on their God and their God, Baal, never responded. And our brother, the man of God, Elijah, took over and the special grace of God the Lord God of Israel, whose name in the book of Hebrews says is a consuming fire, showed up and came to consume the sacrifice of prophet Elijah. What does this mean? The Bible says that after all these sacrifices that were made, that Baal couldn't come to take his own, but God came to take his own. The prophets of Baal were taken down and they were all slew. They were killed. The word of the God Almighty says, He says, You prophets of Baal, you apostles of Baal, you evangelists of Baal, you pastors of Baal, you teachers of Baal, your work have come to an end. He, God Almighty, is taking over. For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. He is taking over. Therefore, mm -hmm. hear this verse. You have been lined up, O oh, you wicked ones. And that says the Lord God of Israel. Put your homes in order, for your time is up. You that have no regards for souls of humans anymore. Human beings have now become your sacrifices on evil altars. God Almighty says, put your homes in order. His judgment is coming mightily upon you. The angel of the Almighty God has marked his own, the righteous ones of God. And the angels with their deadly weapons, as I said in Ezekiel 9, they are now coming. A great angel with a mighty sword is hanging on top of the church of the Almighty God and has been given the commandment to slay all you wicked, evil, false prophets, false apostles, false teachers, false pastors, false evangelists, and all those you ones who have labeled yourself with names that nobody knows where it came from, with archbishops, uh, first reverend or whatever you call yourselves, according to the labels you have given to yourself. Put your homes in order. In Genesis chapter 35 verse 22, the Bible said that Reuben laid with his father's wife, Beha, the maiden servant of Rachel. And the Bible said Israel heard and was silent. He never said anything. Israel, I believe, was watching and waiting that Reuben would come out from his madness and turn to him and come and ask for forgiveness. But because of his father's silence, he took as if his father never saw anything. So that is what you evil satanic prophets and uh, so-called bishops and so-called archbishops, according to what label you people have given to yourselves, that is what you are thinking. That is what you are saying inside of you. But that says the Lord of Israel. He is coming. And he is taking over because you have called Baal. And you have done. You are not done. Your own time is up. He, God himself, is taking over. 
and as usual, exactly as it happened, that when Prophet Elijah called fire down, after fire came to consume the sacrifices, all the satanic evil prophets were slew. The same way that you people are going to be slew. You are going to be slain by the Almighty God without mercy. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And I begin with you, an archbishop in a country in West Africa of about 35 to 40 million people. A country that is in the sight of God was like Israel. Why? Because the children of God, Israelites, migrated from the nation of Israel and came to settle in that nation. So there is a part of that nation that have the ancestors or the people who are from Israel. And because of that, God sees that nation just as Israel. But because of the evil and the wickedness and the atrocities you people are doing in that nation, God has taken out what belongs to him. The ancestors of that nation have already sold that nation to stinking gods. Thereby, Changing the gold star of the nation into a black star. And that black star has been fighting every star, every woman who will be uplifted in any way. That star will fight them. It is either they will run away out of the country or that person has to be brought down. Or the person has to change their minds and join a satanic, uh, a satanic secret society or into demonic fraternities and occultism. Archbishop, you have now become the Balaam of Africa for all those evil and satanic face, fake uh, 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 ministers of God in Africa. You are an intercontinental wizard. You do evil and you have pleasure in the evil that you do. You have no regards for God anymore. You have no fear for God anymore. And you have made sure that anybody who will rise up in the things of God genuinely, you will make sure that it's either that person is killed, run away of that nation, or you will subdue that person or bring that person into your occultism. God Almighty intended to lift up a soul in that nation. And that soul, God was going to use that soul very massively that the whole earth, the whole earth was going to benefit from it. But because of your wickedness, you and all those satanic bishops and apostles and wicked evil people, and that woman, that satanic evil woman in the UK, who is from your country, that country where you are, and even from your tribe, because that's your tribe, have made sure that they hate everything that God loves. That evil woman in UK, who have also labeled herself with whatever title, you connived and conjoined with that woman, and you made sure that that person ran away of that nation. In fact, you intended to kill that person, but God did not allow you. And by the hand of God Almighty, he himself took that person away from that nation. Another country has received that, that person and that person is no more from that country anymore. You have done a lot of evil in the sight of God. You have divorced your wife and have remarried. And even the woman you have remarried, you have no regards for her. You have not a bit of respect for the woman. Even though you have divorced and remarried, you are still sleeping with young innocent girls, taking the virginities of young girls for your ritual purposes. The womb of women is the food you eat. So look at your tummy. When you stand, you are so heavy as if you are pregnant with 48 children. You wear a talisman of a, a, gold, a gold talisman, a cross, Hanging on that talisman. A talisman is what you are hanging. You are showing to the world as if that, that, uh, 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 that gold necklace you are, uh, you, you are carrying is something of God. But you yourself know it is not. 
Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, he died and the Bible says on the third day, he rose again from the dead. Why are you people still hanging him on the cross? Why? Why are you hanging him on the cross? You hang on, this is a talisman that you are hanging, that is on your testicles. And that is where you think your power or everything you would derive is in it. But that says the Lord God of Israel, Archbishop, you and all your hosts, all them that follow you, all them that come from different African nations and from abroad to come and pay homage to you, mm -hmm. the Almighty God have lined you people up. In your nation, as I'm speaking, God Almighty have lined you up. After you, that another evil bishop after you is also going down. Another apostle, and according to how the Lord God have lined you up, and according to how he tells me or he speaks to me and orders me, that's how I will speak. Unto Jehovah alone be all the glory. You don't fear God anymore. You, you drink hard alcoholic drinks and it has become like normal water for you. The womb of women is what you eat to get power. And sometimes you talk as if women are nothing. But everything, every power you are getting, everything you are doing, you derive in the, in the things of women. You are sleeping with young innocent girls. Through taking their virginities, you empower yourself. The, by the eating of the womb of women, you empower yourselves. That is what you are doing. Marijuana smoking is now nothing because it's a daily thing that you do in seconds, minutes, and hours. But everywhere that you are going, the God of Israel says that he knows everything and he sees everything. And he's telling you that the wickedness that you are doing is too much. Saints of the Almighty God have prayed on your behalf and have begged God to give you chance, more chance, for you to return back as God, as Israel waited for Reuben to turn back from his madness. God have waited because of the prayers of the saints. But the more God gives you time to live, the more your wickedness becomes high. And heaven can never contain it anymore. Therefore, that says the Lord God of Israel, O Archbishop, put your house in order. Your time on earth is up. Judgment of God of Israel is coming upon you, is coming upon that nation, because that nation has no regard for God. You were in Canada. And when you were in Canada, you called the president of your nation. And you requested that you were very sick and you needed money. Archbishop, I am not here to display everything, but I am speaking according to the commandment of the Lord God of Israel. I am standing in the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. What God allows me to say is what I will say. The rest, I will leave it to God. But God wants you to know that every secret thing that you are doing, it is open before him. That is why he has allowed and commanded me to come and speak these words to you. He who have ears, let them hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Now, all you wicked, evil pastors, those of you, when you hear prophecies of other people who are genuine, you take it, you keep them in your room, and you go and stand before congregations and speak them as if you were the one God gave to hmm. An angel of God has been appointed against you. That from now, any of you who would do this evil, you will be slaughtered without mercy by that angel. Some of you are going to die on your pulpits. You think God is asleep? He is not. He is taking over. This is the Zen revival. The God Almighty is taking over. He is taking over. We have just little years to live. This is the last but one decade. Heaven is prepared. Demons are groaning because they have seen that the time is almost up for them. Angels are, 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 are celebrating in heaven because left to them, they should have just blown the shofar. They are eager to blow the shofar. The angels are holding, they have been lined up wearing their white garments. And they are holding shofars. Left to them, 
they, 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 they should, God should just allow them for them to blow and everything should come to an end because they see the stupidity of human on earth and they cannot contain it anymore. We have no more time. This is last, the last but one decade. After this decade, the next decade we will enter, we will not complete it. Yeshua will arrive. This is the word of God Almighty. And I stand in his blood and declare these words. In the name of my Lord Yeshua. O oh Lord God of Israel. You that live forever and ever. Mighty Redeemer. Ancient of days. I am that I am. You that holds the life and the breath of every soul and every man in your hands. I have declared your words. As you have spoken and you have commanded me. Lord. Let your will be done. My prayer, Jehovah, in the name of Yeshua, is that you will have mercy if they will only repent, Lord. If they will only repent and turn back from their wicked ways, please have mercy and save their soul, my Father. In Yeshua's mighty name, I pray. He will have yes. Let them hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. To God, Jehovah alone, be all glory. Through his Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua Mashiach, I pray. Amen. Amen.